Is this thing on? Word. <laughs> so what uh, we get drunk? So what uh, we smoke weed? We're just having fun. We don't care who sees. Oh, shit. So what uh, we go? YouTube, it's your girl, Heavenly Porcelain. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and comment down below. Feel free to comment down below. Um, also, if you guys can, shout me out on your Instagrams, your Snapchats, your YouTubes, because I want to get high numbers. So help your girl get some high numbers out here. And with further ado, I bring to you guys why I cut my hair. I told you in my lip gloss video, I would bring you guys that. So here we go. I decided to cut my hair after middle school. In middle school, I wore permed hair. I didn't like it. My hair was just dry. And it wasn't dry. It's just, it was like, it wasn't so thick. It was thin. I had pretty permed hair, don't get me wrong. I would wear it in a little wrap like everybody used to do back in the days. But it just wasn't my thing, honestly. I feel like my hair wasn't healthy. And when I would perm my hair, my hair would get yellow, like really yellow. And I didn't like how that looked. It just wasn't, it wasn't the move. So when I got in high school, ninth grade, I wore my hair in different hairstyles. I got my hair done like three times a week. Every other day I would get my hair done. And so I finally decided that I wanted to go natural. So I went natural. I didn't cut my hair. I didn't trim my hair. I just let it transition. Most people let it transition or they actually cut it, but I didn't cut it this time. And when I let it transition, it was pretty, but I feel like it was just stuck in time. Like, I feel like it wasn't moving, and it wasn't growing how I wanted it to grow. It was just there, and I, by that time, I got kind of bored of it, honestly, because I would wear it in a ponytail or two ponytails, and I just felt like it was just basic. It wasn't nothing, because I wasn't doing no hair routines with my hair. I wasn't seeing what made my hair curl. I wasn't doing twist outs and stuff. I was just letting it, you know grow so I got tired of it by the time I got in 11th or 12th grade I decided that I was ready to cut my hair um I went to my mom and my dad I sat them down I demanded um that I want to cut my hair and my dad told me no he said I'm gonna like a boy my mom also told me no and she was acting like it was her hair but it wasn't her hair it's my hair I told her I'm comfortable with it I want to cut my hair I'm ready she told me no it's never gonna go back I'm gonna like a boy and they just both refused. So I had to give up on my dreams of cutting my hair. Fast forward, 2019, I cut my hair in 2018, and we are here, obviously, I got through that little tough point in life where you have to convince your parents to let you do something that you wanna do. So 2018, I cut my hair October 16th, a month before I went to my mom, I demanded, I showed her pictures how I wanted to cut my hair, I showed her what color I wanted to cut my hair, and I told her, I'm ready to cut my hair. This is what I want to do. I'm unapologetic and I'm ready to do it. So I went so I went on Instagram and I saw this girl that I follow. Um, she has her hair cut. I was like, oh, it's so cute. Okay. So I DM'd her and I asked her who cut her hair. Um, I live in Miami. For those of you who don't know, I saw this girl lives in Miami too. So that's why I DM'd her. She sent me um, the person's shop and their name and stuff like that so i booked me an appointment right away then october 16th there i was after class walked into the barber shop and everybody was like oh do you want your nails done do you want your hair done is that there i said no i'm cutting my hair off everybody said what they were so shook or whatever and they was basically like why do i want to cut my hair and that it's so pretty and that you know i look cute with it so i cut it off and i told them i have my own reasons for cutting my hair those are the reasons why i'm cutting my hair i just need somebody to cut this off my head so i sat i'm in the chair 
and the barber was good he washed my hair he felt my head like so to make sure i didn't have any abnormal dents in my head i didn't have any bruises in my head and things of that nature so that's how i knew he was a good barber once he did that i sat in the chair he put the thing around me and he proceeded to cut my hair my mom was videotaping she was freaking out in the background so I'm like, oh my god you can't go back he's cutting it and i was like Shh. So my hair, he was coming here, the hair's falling. I'm like, oh my God, like I can't go back down. This, this is it, this is it, it's do or die. So he cut it off. After he cut it off, I looked in the mirror. I was happy, I was pleased, I was unapologetic. I didn't care what anybody else thought about me. I didn't care what anybody else thought about me. I loved it and that's all that matters. So that's how I cut my hair, that's what happened. Um, now i want to get into some tips for you guys when it comes to cutting and dyeing your hair the first tip is when you cut your hair make sure that you want to do this make sure that you're going to be comfortable with it and that you're not going to regret it after also make sure that you have the correct head size because hair cutting is not for everybody although you know it might look good on somebody else it might not look good on you so make sure you're making the right decision for yourself look in the mirror turn around fill your head move it around make sure you got the right neck size or whatever this down the third because you know i got a big neck right now but 2019 i'm about to lose weight don't care period so and it's like that from my accident for those of y'all who's looking at my neck point blank okay so make sure you got the right neck size so you don't want to look be looking crazy out here just because you want to cut your hair you want to make sure that you look nice if you cut your hair so Make sure you look in the mirror. Yeah. Quick interruption, guys. I just wanted to insert some pictures of the colors that I've dyed my hair thus far. Right now, you're looking at icy white, icy blue, and red. hair dye make sure you have the correct complexion for the hair color that you decide to choose like my skin color not everything looks good on my skin so i have to make sure that i choose the right hair color that i'm not looking busted or crazy out here like a little rag doll okay when you do that make sure you got the right hair color to match your complexion i'm not doing crazy colors in my head i did red i did blue but i'm doing stuff that matches my skin tone so make sure that you match the color with your skin tone that it looks good it looks presentable you're not here looking crazy a hot mess when you dye your hair um what's another thing also don't listen to what others have to say because most people they can be envious of you they could not want you to succeed they cannot want you to cut your hair because they know you're gonna look good and they might tell you girl don't cut your hair you're gonna look good or they could think you're gonna look ugly then when you cut it they jump on the bandwagon talking about how good you look which is my situation a lot of my friends and people didn't want me to cut my hair they didn't think i was gonna look good with my hair cut and look at me now like i look good i look bomb i'm confident i don't care and now everybody's like basically on my bandwagon oh my god i love your hair like that blah 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 this and a third but they was just telling me that i shouldn't cut my hair so you also have to do stuff make sure if you're doing something that you're doing it for you opinions matter or they can help you but if you're comfortable with yourself you won't worry about what anybody else is saying to you so make sure you keep that in mind um lastly i have a few inspirational things for you guys or inspirational thoughts to put in your guys' head. When you're doing something as far as bold as cutting your hair, I want you guys to look within, sit down, evaluate yourself, evaluate where you are in life, evaluate how you feel about yourself. If this is something that you wanna do, you'll know it. You'll strongly know it. Don't just do it just because it's a trend, because you all know it's a trend right now to cut your hair, but do it because you want to do it, because you see yourself in a bigger in the bigger picture in the long run you know whatever it may be rather it'll increase your confidence or it'll show you it'll give you strength or you know you'll have healthier hair and, and just make sure you're doing it because it's something that you want to do and not just because other people are doing it and if you want to do it don't let others discourage you from doing something that you want to do always stay positive in yourself and if you're not ready then don't do it because there was a time where I wasn't ready 
and you know I was questioning it I wasn't sure if you're in the not sure stage keep going and if you get out of that stage in the long run as time passes then you'll know that you're ready to cut your hair so don't rush it it's something that you know that you want to do off back it's like you'll just feel it so I want you guys to know that um and if you need to hear this I am here for you if you have any questions you guys can ask me um you can ask me on my social media dm me i'll respond back i'm not bougie or whatever so i'll respond to any of your questions i hope this video helped you guys and if you liked it comment down below um i might get some waves because i did have a fade i kind of like the fade i don't know if i want to go back to the fade or if i want to get waves but if i do get waves look out for something as far as me doing waves in a wave channel or something like that um also don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friends about me tell your mama your daddy your auntie your sister your uncle your grandma your grandpa about me help me get my numbers up please if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching